Hi guys, it's me Kalika and welcome back to my channel. In today's Try It Tuesday, I am trying the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I just have the travel size and I have the shade 20N. I have put this under both my eyes. I have used my usual Morphe under, uh, what is it called, eyelid primer under both of my eyes and then I've set under each eyes differently which you will see in the next clip so so far one side is looking better than the other both are still showing signs of creasing but let's see how this one wears throughout the day I'm really excited as we know I'm on a hunt to find the perfect foundation and the perfect concealer for under my eyes that doesn't make me look so old so let's see how this one wears and I'll see you in the next clip where I'm applying this product Okay, so to start off, I'm going to apply the Morphe Eyelid Primer in Translucent. Just a tiny amount. Like a very tiny amount. Make the funny face to stretch out the skin. Just taking whatever is left up onto my eyelids. And then we are gonna go in with the concealer. So the concealer is quite close to my actual colour and it does have a pinky peachy undertone to it and I'm just going to take a dry beauty blender and pat that out. So it's gone on really, really nicely. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes and I'm gonna see if it starts creasing and decide if I wanna try set it or not. Okay guys, so it's been probably a good five minutes. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit, wrong way. Can you see under here, it's already creasing. So what I'm going to do, I haven't set anything. Look, I can you can tell I just put my fingers in my foundation. <clears throat> I'm going to set one side. I'm going to set one side with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm going to set the other side with a bit of setting spray and we're going to see which side works better. So I'm just going to smooth that out first. Go in with a small amount of powder. I like to use the powder to set up on my nose also just to try and prevent the sunglasses. So I'm going to set the other side of my nose as well with the powder, but not under the eye area. And then I'll probably go in with the setting spray on either side of the nose as well. I'm 
Then I'm just going to take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and just spray that into the sponge a little bit. I kind of don't want it too wet, so I'm just pushing it into the sponge. Either side of the nose, just a little tap. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll touch base and see how it's looking then. Okay guys, so I've finished the rest of my face and I definitely feel like with the concealer, the side set with the powder is looking much better than the side set with the setting spray. So I hope you can see, this is the side set with a tiny bit of powder and this is the side set with a bit of setting spray. So it's definitely made a little bit of a difference now. So we're gonna see like throughout the day how it wears, which one is looking better. But so far I'm feeling like the side set with a tiny bit of setting, uh, setting powder is looking better but let's see how it wears throughout the day okay guys so i am back for my first check-in now i realized i forgot to tell you the time when i'd finished applying like always so i had finished applying this at 9 a.m and it is now 1 20 so i'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see this eye just looks like a mess and this eye looks better but I still don't feel like it looks good this one looks like it's got some mascara or something underneath it as well let's try burn that out a bit I don't know guys hope you can see what I'm talking about it's just not looking that good either of them I don't know maybe I'm asking too much in a concealer but we're gonna see how it keeps wearing for the rest of the day as I am doing a foundation long wear test as well so let's see how it wears um, at this stage I can't say I'm impressed with either of them but we've still got a few hours left in the day, so we'll see. Hi guys, I am back for my final check-in. It is almost 6 p.m. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sold. Let's get up close and personal when you can see all my bad skin texture. But this is the eye that I set with a little bit of powder. And this is the eye that I set with the setting spray. Neither looks good. I had initial good hopes for the powdered side because it took a while to get like this. But it still just looks cakey and messy and worn off and everything. So, so far this one hasn't worked for me unfortunately i'm not a fan i'm not keen on it obviously i'll continue to play around with it i have it so i'm going to keep using it and play around with it see if i can find a technique that works but so far i haven't found any technique that works for under my eyes so some people might love this product i'm not one of them and i hope you found this video helpful and if you did like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye